Hey guys, and welcome back. So this is going to be an update of the Tarantula Hut Tarantula. This is the um, Guyana Pink Toe Tarantula, also known as Avicularia Avicularia. You can see the tarantula there just hanging out. Uh, this is an arboreal species, so the enclosure I had to get it was, it had to be pretty tall. As you can see here, it is, this cage is the um, Exoterra 12 by 12 by 18. I had to actually divide it, as you can see here, because I do have another tarantula as well, same species. So I went ahead and just put in this um, Exo-Earth soil that I got from, I think, Pets, I think it's Petco. And then I went ahead and went to PetSmart and I bought these little, um, uh, pieces of bark. The background is okay, but it's this uh, styrofoam stuff. I'm, I don't really like it, but uh, I guess I guess I'll do for now. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to rehouse the tarantula. A little nervous about about this because I don't want the tarantula to get freaked out. Um, Avicularia is usually a pretty uh, skittish species, so I'm a little nervous. See what's going to happen here. This is my first tarantula that's actually that I'm going to be rehousing. The other one I will not be rehousing today as it is a little too small. I'm just going to wait for it to get a little bigger. This one is a pretty decent size. So let's go ahead and get started. Ugh, let's get going. Okay, just going to move it up here. So what I like about this cage or this enclosure here is that it's got like two doors here. You just pull this little thing down and open up the glass door. That's pretty neat. Okay, so here's the inside of the enclosure. You can see this this board here. I actually had to customize that, and then I had to cut the background there, as you can see, in order to put the board in, so then uh, both of the tarantulas will not interact, because this is a pretty big cage. I don't think a tarantula of this size, they don't really get all that big, is going to need uh, an enclosure this, this spacious. I'm gonna start by twisting the lid off. Oh my god, I am getting really nervous here. I'm actually going to back up so you guys can see I'm just twisting it. I'm, a, I'm really nervous because I know how these tarantulas get. Especially when you're rehousing. I would just put her in. I, I said her. I keep getting the sex, the sex wrong. I, I don't know exactly if it's a boy or girl yet because I have to wait for the molt. But we will see shortly. Anyways, I would just put the tarantula in the enclosure, just lay the, the container in there, but since she's made, I keep saying she, excuse me, since the tarantula's made this beautiful little web enclosure here, I can't, I can't really just leave her, because I, I know it's just gonna basically stay in there. All right, let's get this over with. I do have a little metal, metal tool here. I'm, I'm really, I don't want to hurt her, but I'm gonna try to guide her Alright, I hope you guys can see. I'm going to try to get her out now and just lightly push in front of her just to make her back up and see her moving there. I have this weird feeling that she is going to just run out of the back. beautiful. That's right. There you go. There we go. Okay, yeah, she's starting to get a little cringy. You can see her there. Come on. Come on. Oh. Getting really nervous here. Push a little more in front of her. Okay, there we go. Come on. Come on. Oh, she is getting big. She definitely needed to be uh, rehoused. Okay, there you go. There you go. Beautiful. Nice. See her here. She is absolutely beautiful. Look at her. Oh my god, look how beautiful. Wow. Let's see if I can zoom in here. Way to get 
get a good look. Wow, just look at the coloring on her. Okay, so now I'm going to try to guide her over to that little wood log over here. I don't really want to move her all that much. I want her to get used to this, but I'm worried that she's going to start making uh, webbing over in this area, and that's not really what I want. This would be the most optimal place for her to go, so I'm going to try moving her. And she's not going to like this. Oh, forgive me, sweetie. It's okay. There you go. There we go. Oh, perfect. Oh, I don't want her doing that either. So look who decided to come out of the cage. <laughs> She's just a wanderer. She, I left the cage open for one second and she just came right on out. Look how beautiful she is. Simply amazing. Look at that. Look at the coloring on her. Gorgeous. This is actually, I don't know if you can tell if I'm shaking or not, but this is actually the first time I've ever held a tarantula of this size. Pretty interesting, I'd have to say. It's almost like you can feel like little claws on their, on their feet, like where the little pink toes are. Like, like you can feel little tiny, I don't know, it's, it's weird. Well, anyways, she is simply beautiful. Wow, just the coloring on her, amazing. And she's like really furry too. All right, well, I'm just gonna put her back now. Let's put her in her little cage. There we go. Nice. And I'll just let her roam about. I'm sure she'll get used to it. Probably climb on the glass and go crazy. Anyways, guys, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you found it helpful as well, so in case if you get one of these tarantula huts, you can just, uh, as soon as they get older, you can just do the same thing I'm doing. Just uh, make sure to relocate them. Do not keep them in that container. They, they will grow. <laughs> they are living things. So that's it for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Please leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe as always. Um, if I can reach 5,000 subscribers, I will do a tarantula giveaway. So... I'll be on the lookout for that. If you guys would go ahead and subscribe, that would really mean a lot. You guys, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, have a good one. I don't really know why they have all this shit on here. Jesus.